Here we Big go. Big day, guys. <laughs> Big day. Let's go in. Oh my god! Look at the cuffs. The cuffs are great. Cuffs. Charlotte, what are you wearing now? Really comfy. Yeah. Black turtleneck. Girl has off that. It's stretchy. Oh, cozy. I love that. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Morning. What is going on in here? Above ground. Yeah, how does it feel not to be I subterranean? Like, I feel like we can't say too much, otherwise it looks like we were in some like, <laughs> with no light, no fresh air. I love what so, you've done with the place. So minimal, yeah. isn't it? Oh, Jess, was this down to you? Is this is this white? Yeah, it is white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, great choice. How does it feel know, being in a new office right. space? It's a real office. I love it. Quite fun being with these guys now. Bit of change. Who's your favourite person here? All of them. All of them. Everyone's I'll volunteer. I'll be your favourite person. Don't worry. It feels like we really need some stuff on the walls in here, doesn't it? How are you, Michelle? That makeup. Oh, and I mean, it was something else, wasn't it? Good morning, Georgie Courage Cole. How are you? It feels like I've sort of moved dorms at school or something. It feels really weird. It's so light in here. I'm going to look ten years younger. You do. You look about twelve. I'm not going to be rolling up that blind. Seconds, am I, to get the You're in your new office, right? I'm in my new office, but all my stuff is still upstairs, so we need to get it down. How do you feel? It's quite big, isn't it? Yeah. Look, a change That's is good. Spacious. I mean, I can walk around everywhere. I know, I know. Look at you in your gilet. Yeah, I've been influenced by Edward J. Black. Has I got that? He's got this one, but he lives he in a gilet. gilet doesn't he? He's a gilet king. Where's that from? Okay. You're taking over basically the entire building now. How do you feel about that? This building's been knocked down in a couple of years, so we're going to be homeless. Where are we going to move to? I don't know. Maybe Hackney, that, East London, something no, like that. No, not moving to East London. That's It'd be so convenient for me. And we still don't have a place that works. <laughs> I mean, how much rent do you pay? We've got a lot now, four units in the building. We still don't have a place. So what's the new setup here, Georgie? Where well, is everybody? fashion. Hi, fashion team. Uh, Lynn's got a proper desk now. How do you feel? Great. Then this is content team over here. Hi, content team. Editorial over here. Hi, editorial. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Sorry. Hi, commercial. There we go. Second sorry, time. Take sorry. two. Sorry. This is editorial over here. Hi, editorial. Um, How are you doing? No show Monday. It's the lazy table. Laura, Charlotte, Loz, and. Yes, we've actually now got some empty desks. Hello, hello. Cool, isn't it? Oh, you're going downstairs? Yeah. Can you take a chair with you, maybe? Sure. So these are two and two. Where's it going to go? Yeah. Decisions, decisions, Rich. It's very going, though, isn't it? Going grab the yeah, this is George's new office. Oh, I love it. Amber, will you just give us a hand with a couple of yes. things and we can do it in one go? You've got a new home, too. I have, yeah. But you're going to be up and down and up and down, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Think That's all the right. steps you're going to do, Rich. Yeah, I think all those calories I'm burning. Do you feel sad to be leaving your office uh, after so many years? I didn't know that Sad's the word. How long has this been in your office for? Quite a long years. Uh, more than five, right? Six, seven, eight, nine? So we've been in this office a long time. Oh, could you bring my brolly, Rich? Why oh, has it popped out? Oh. Is that glass or plastic? Oh, Careful. Plastic. If Not you'd okay. carry something, then it would help. I've got it? things in my hands, guys. Quite a lot of stuff that could just. Sorry, one more. I've just broken my picture. Sam, what do you think of the new office? I love it. Yeah. I love this. I like how it's one big bank. Action styled on Wagamama. And the best thing is, you guys have windows. <laughs> yeah. Congrats. I'm absolutely like brimming with vitamin D right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice big meeting room. Yeah. Just imagine all the meetings we'll have in there. Actually, it's quite sizable, isn't it? Yeah. It sounds like a proper like, presentation. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy for everyone. Number one and two are just under 115. Amazing. Yeah. What's just happened? The highest yeah. opens in our emails ever. Really good, I'm thrilled. Great! I mean, our opens get higher and higher every week, but Ali just sent the stats round and they are consistently at 115,000 opens. Find me another publisher that's not getting that many opens in the UK. Push and pull. Hi. We're in. Hey. Are you feeling really like a wellness guru now? Okay. Where are we setting up? Starting in the kitchen now. Kitchen. Oh, perfect. Hello, hello. Wellness guru ready? Well, I feel a bit better. I've washed my hair since I last saw you. Okay. But I just didn't feel very wellness. What are we doing now? Oh, that'd be good. Oh, God, that's so good. Like adult chicken nuggets, basically. Yeah. They are my top tip from MS. Well, hello, guys. Darling, Laura's here with Raffi and Bella, and they would love to play with you in the basement. Will you come down, sweetheart? Biscuits, they? they might like a snack. Do you like a snack? Oh, we have those chocolate things that are up there. There's chocolate up there. One little boy that absolutely loves chocolate up there. They are Let called me Raffi and Bella. Oh, what chocolate things are we talking about? Up there. Those ones. Oh, those ones. Oh, oh, really? Maybe one. Would you like an Oreo? I give them out to You take them down and yeah. give them out. Laura, do you mind them having a couple of Not Oreos? Not at 
Oh, two Oreos each, oh, Mimi. They're so lucky. Thank you, Mimi. Well, Georgie, what are we doing now? Filming the first in a series that we are producing called My Health and Wellness Toolkit. We're working with six influencers to share the 10 products, I guess, that are part of their healthy living, their lifestyle. And I'm kicking off the series. And uh, what are you featuring? You're going to find out. Well, you go straight from intro into one, I? Sure, intro, then it's like number one, you go and get it, okay. bring it back, talk, and then I think because okay. we're going to do it in different locations. Hello, I'm Georgie Courage Cole, the founder and editor of Sheila. The first product that I rely on day in, day out is Simproves Probiotic. I recommend the mango and passion fruit flavour. Well worth the investment. The Sainsbury's own brand tastes the nicest. I've really got into chia. Really rich source of protein. I use almond milk. A little bit of vanilla essence. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I love it. I've eaten from this side where that spoon hasn't gone anywhere near. How's it taste? Actually, it's, yeah, it looks disgusting, but it actually tastes. That's chia pudding. You've only seen that loads of times now. Yeah, I know, yeah. but I've never wanted Can to try it, so it looks a bit gross. How's the shoot going, Georgie? You alright, thanks. Nice. What have you done so far? Probiotic, vitamin C, chia pudding. And now what are we doing? A couple of gym things. A spin bike at home has changed my life. Forget with my outfit, I now am in a set of free weights. As I've got older, I have. Ugh, these are my 10 kgs. Let's go, ace up, ace up. What is this? Pan. Pan and your brows. Is that bathroom, yeah? Yeah, here, that extension. I'm gonna cheat our way to looking healthier. Dying my eyebrows is one of them. You don't last very long when you haven't done professionally. Apply it to your brows. Not having my nails done feels a bit like not wearing a bra. I'm quite a big snacker. Totally addicted, like most of the shit ups office, to deliciously edit bars. Always have one in my bag. It smells so good. That is so annoying. This one. Sit, sit. Stay. Hopefully you can see the steam coming out of this amazing diffuser. You can't smell this sandy, but it smells absolutely heavenly. Countertech Relax Drops. Relax you before you try and get a good night's sleep. And if you're somebody that lives a busy, stressful life, then I highly recommend you give these a go. Come back soon for the next in our Wellness Toolkit series. Is that a wrap? That's a wrap. Good evening, Georgie Courage Cole. How are you? Wow, well, long day, but I think we're going to finish on a high. So where are we going now? To visit Mirror. Bow. They have launched. I'm actually really excited to see it in the flesh. You know they launched their gin. Oh yeah. Not only does the bottle look amazing, it is absolutely delicious. It really has got its own flavour. Anyway, they have launched a mini version of the gin. It comes in a gift set with a silk twilly. Twilly? Is that like goes around the handle of your bag? Yeah, a bit like what Hermes do. Four or five serves of the Mirabeau gin and the twilly. I am a massive fan of Mirabeau. They've had a shit time. You know all those fires that happened in Greece and France summer? Yeah. A whole load of that. Loads of fires. Oh. Heartbreaking to watch. You fascinate me as an English couple that moved to Provence and created Provence Rosé that is, I think, the best selling rosé in the UK. Really? Yeah, I think, or one of. I really like them as people. I love watching what they do. I love seeing what's going to come next. I've seen a picture of the Trilly and it looks really chic. And I feel like they really need our support right now. I love for Mirabeau. Anyway, we're going to go and see it in the flesh. Yeah, it's like a little speakeasy in here. Party Central, here we go. Hi. Welcome to my house. You filmed me like years back. How are you doing? Good to see you. So welcome, Hans. You've been from Ruby as well as a manicure pedicure. This is your actual house? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> this is why wow. I was like, this is so funny. Gin and tonic or rosé? Gin and tonic, I think. Oh, Please. Great, I'd love a gin and tonic. We've done the collaboration, so the Tweedy. With an artist. Artist. Tiffany. Who says you're going to walk away with a little work of art by the artist herself. Who's actually the latest face of Vogue and Gucci. She's very cool. Way cooler than us. Ask <laughs> you yourself. Jimmy! I Man, you hey. scared me last time. I'm staying up here. I was thinking I'm gonna feel so small yeah. again, but no. Thank you for coming. Oh no, I'm thrilled. It's really nice to see you. It's like the biggest party in London tonight. And it's like a queue around the block. Oh, no, like a in your house. I've, I've got a few. You look gorgeous, very on brand. She's matching their product. Everything pink in my wardrobe. Oh my god, wow, look at the art in here. Did you see the fingers crossed? Yeah, Tiffany editor boss. Hey Tiffany, how are you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And she is painting sketches. With the chin. If it wasn't an art form before, it is now. I know. This is it. I'm dying to see it in the flesh. Tiffany made the most gorgeous design called the pink cheeks. Les jours roses. Everything's chicer in French, isn't it? Yes, Marine's got it in her hair. I know. Wow. Wow. Who made the cake? 
Vanilla. That's too pretty to come up. It looks fake, doesn't it? It's so beautiful. What flavour is it? Vanilla and raspberry. raspberry. Yeah. Yeah. It looks amazing. I was telling Rich on our way here about the fire. The end to a very odd year. We're resilient and we're carrying on. British people need to support these British sort of. entrepreneurs yeah. more than ever because these fires that happened this summer. In the pictures, it was heartbreaking. It brought tears to my eyes. It makes me quite emotional now watching your story and devastation. I remember you saying we'll see tomorrow the damage and then the next day they were just falling. It's a hard moment. We've got to suck it up in a way and it's nature and our job is to work with nature. And the vines will come back. They so will. there's no damage to the soil. Yeah. Will they come back stronger? So you can argue that burn organic matter is quite good for the soil. It's just quite a hard thing to go through to get better organic matter. Also when you're booming all their years and years and years of hard work. I mean you started in Mirabeau when? 2009. And you've evolved so cleverly and then you probably just felt like... I know, it was a bit of a, a, bit of a punch in the face. Right, so pandemic and then fires. My mum always said everything comes in threes. That looks three. so lovely box. I mean if Sherlock's made boxes. It would look like that. It yeah. actually would. <laughs> The little drawer, Ooh. the baby gin, which is 20 centimetre version of our regular gin. I've got a pretty sort of wine bar area in yes. my house. This is the bottle that literally beats them all. Thank you. I did design that myself. Did you? As well as looking like that, Rich, you've got one of these. It tastes pretty epic too. It is my Cheers. favourite gin. Cheers. I'm not being polite. You haven't tried me over gin. It almost should go on your dressing table, but it tastes good too, doesn't it? Tastes delicious. delicious. Yeah. Cheers, Absolute win. Can you do something for sheer luck? Can we do luck? L U X E. I mean, if only I could knock out a picture. That quickly. Can you imagine being able to see that? So, what's so, it like to paint oh, with gin? It's nice. It's super well the color, actually. It's yeah? a good medium. Yeah, it's amazing. I didn't have to try it with the rose, too. Oh, hello. Look what we got. Georgie, look. Some real art. How long did it take you to design the twilly? It was almost a month and a half. I had a hundred ideas about it. I really want to bring something from France to it. And also the Japanese side. But you know, when you drink alcohol in Japan, you always get red. Gampai! Gampai, you know. So, the name of the twilly is Les Jours Roses. The red Exactly. So there's definitely a mix of my origins in this studio. Oh, look at these. I just think that art in this house. If you run an art agency, this is going to be a perk of the job, right? Marine. Yeah. You did a shoot with Marine. How long ago? Uh, about two years ago. And she runs an art agency called, you rich? Empty Art Agency. Empty Art Agency. Tell me your French. I am French. Yeah, you look French. Uh, you look so French. It's not French, French isn't it? You can be Everything's all the style when it's French. tips you like. <laughs> but you'll never but be not French. you're going to look like that unless you're really French. <laughs> Such Francophiles over here. French accent. I know. That I can't no. get rid of. Well, why would you want to? Chic, even though if you're not that stylish. Not that you're like that. You're artist too. But, too yeah, but she's not French. But I've so tried. It doesn't I've work. Tried. Okay, Rich, how well do you know me? I've got two on this wall that I absolutely love. What do you reckon they are? Think carefully because I'll be going to be really disappointed if you're wrong. It's got to be that one, though. Yeah. It's got to be something not figurative, right? It can't be that or that or that or that. It's that. It is that. And that. Really? That surprises me. Amazing. Totally out my street. Yeah. Absolutely love it. That's how you do a picture of walls. That's not even in a frame, it's so it's cool, right? Let's look at the art stuff. Look at that. That is no, cool. No. That's not cheap, is it? I got a quote from an artist the other day. I'm just getting in touch. Yeah. No, I was like, yeah, maybe that's something to work to. There's no yeah. art in here. Yeah. We're on an art We're on an art tour of the house. I really like that one. That's cool. I mean, I could do that, but it is really cool. You could do that. I could. Go on in. We said this. If Banksy did my children's work, we'd all say it was brilliant. That's very cool. Yeah. I'd like it to be blush. With the gold. Well, maybe talk to the artist, see what you can do. And then this is cool. I've oh, heard yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're talking about the art. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're on an art tour of your house. Around your house. Yeah. I've decided that I could do that. Well, no, you can't. Layers and layers of cement with paint with LED. How's your cement work? And you have to burn it to actually get the cracks that right. way. Right. So, oh, how's your so yeah, yeah, you say you could do it. I don't think you could. Yeah, maybe six not. Six years that. to practice yeah. this and get this right. Well, if he wants a bit of extra tuition, he knows. Do you want to be his assistant? I can introduce you. No, I don't. I really like this. That's the same artist. All. Three. I'd like that in blush. Does he paint to order? It's so I cool. think he could do blush. Come on, show okay. us some more, show us some more. Can you show us some more? Can you show us some more? Hope was very much a symbol for the logged on one for us. The idea that if you cry, and if you're sad, it re -blossom. That's too modern for me. Yeah. Let me show you the guy I just got a quote from. That's really nice. That's really lovely. Who is it with? We could definitely. Can I show the profile to myself? Yeah. Oh, I'm not pitching you. I don't know. Well, Chris said. Rivers, <laughs> you get represented by MTR agency. I want a discount. All right. <laughs> this is cool. This is Anya and Deja. No Photoshop as well. Completely in the desert using actual a camera with never to shop. Not with touch. This is amazing. Can you hear the story? I absolutely I love how it's mounted for a start. So the story goes that they took pictures of the seaside that's most meaningful to them, but that's made out of sea salt water. They use the water that you use in a dark room that is from the sea that they've captured. Amazing. And they rebuilt 
the duck house in front of the sea in a natural space. After they just captured it, it's going to feel the bits of the sea that's wow. being processed. Wow. They're insane. I love that. I'm glad because I will say that's one of the strongest works. Oh, I absolutely We are back an amazing incredible. personality. So, really strong. This is so much fun. I, cannot, I love Jennifer Abisrat. Seven years that's ago, really she was hit by a car, stuck in hospital for six months, creating pictures out of a single room because she was stuck in hospital. Was Literally a tiny hospital room. Yes, I love it, Jane. Can I even say I've spotted her <laughs> all on her walls worth tens of thousands of pounds. Did you see? High low. Did you take a drawing from Tiffany? Okay, I'll take this one. Can I just say that's her signature? So if I were you, I would take her signature. Oh. Just a tiny advice from a tiny fan. Oh, that's going to be worth a fortune. I'm going straight to the bank. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. How did that go? Oh, that was wasn't it? It's been a long day. I had no idea we were walking into Marie of MT Art Agency's house. No, neither did I. It was her and Jeannie that partnered to create this brilliant collaboration. I am so in awe of Mirabeau. Love their wine. I love their gin. That truly is divine. I'm going to get in the taxi and tie it around my wrist right now. And anyone else who wants one can get over to our Nichols to get one there. Anyway, Rich, I'm off. See you, see ya. See you later. Bye. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Really good, thanks. Where are we today? The Cezanne store in Westbourne Grove. They have got a pop-up for October editions, which is their menswear counterpart. I've featured it so many times on our summer. Ads. I've never seen it in real life. I have in Paris. Okay. And it's an amazing product, so we're super excited to see it in flesh. And new Cezanne autumn winter version yeah. too. I think it's their five-year anniversary today, hence the pop-up. I think quite rarely. I'm really excited I to see it too. I was about to say, <laughs> this is one that actually appeals to you. Yeah, you like Cezanne for your wife. Yeah. Something for everyone. Is there like a menswear and women's wear store visit? I don't think yeah. we have. First for everything. Here we Big go. Day guys, love that pink. That pink is so pretty. Oh my god, look at the cuffs. The cuffs are great. The cuffs are so nice. I prefer a round neck cardi on me, but god, they're gorgeous. It's such an unbeatable price, whatever yeah. it is. So good for every age. Like my mum, yeah. like, we love that. Look at all the nips. I know. It's getting on cosy time now, right? Have you bought a chunky knit this year? Not yet, no, actually. It's like frustratingly that it's actually not that cold yet. Are you yeah. It's, it's, it's not seven, that cold yet. Don't be a sausage. Yeah, that's what I said. Exactly degrees, what I you said. Stepped outside. It's actually so cold. Yeah, I'm like sweating. Isn't it? Where did you buy your chunking it from? Made in Tomboy on matches. I'm really pleased with it. I'd like to see that. Can you reach that? <laughs> Help a sister out. Yeah, thank you. There we go. That is really that's fun. Really, that's really nice. Really nice. So many nice colours. Oh, it's just so cosy in here. It's I wish so there was a fire and a drisky. Actually, do you know what? I sold it because I never wore it, but it's such a good colour. Look at the detail. I know, it's just a really hard colour for me to wear. And I kind of regret it. I should have just kept it. You should have kept it. That pink thing. It's the cuffs. It's, it's the, those cuffs. The devil's in the details, know, right? Oh, yeah, and the buttons. It's so pretty. Rich is right up your It is right up my yeah, seat. No, so no, no. Rich, you could finally get your check jacket. He's got yeah. one you're wearing yeah, the other day. There's always a special one. Thank you. That's a really nice one, actually. It's a really nice colour. So, yeah, it's kind of a burgundy. It's kind of a burgundy. Yeah. That's nice. That's really nice. This is so good. That is 125. It's really good. And it looks so nice in that. This is the kind of price point I'm looking for. It's the kind of price what everybody's looking for. If you're trying to elevate a little bit but not spending it absolutely fortunate. Okay. Yeah, you're paying that a little bit more than it feels like a treat, but it's not like blow the doors off expensive. It's actually a soft spot for a hen. It's quite a soft spot for a what? Like a wide crew neck. Oh, yeah, with no, a button. Yeah. On the right guy, like you could pull off cords. I'm but you not could. on board with cords. You could wear I think those I need cords to get with on. those Russell and Bromley slippers. That would look so good on oh, you. Okay, I'm trying to find a way I'm to wear them. To wear them. <laughs> so nice. Oh, I love that. I generally don't think a brand personifies our man. I was honestly just thinking exactly the same thing. Rich, if you had to pick one piece. I'm being asked this question for the first time probably in my life. I think I'm looking at this guy. I can see you in that. Really nice. I think I'd go for that. Oh, wait there, wait there, wait there. Oh, that's nice. I need one of those. I haven't got a suede bomber. To be fair, everything. If you're not sure about cord, that's a really good way to yeah, dip your toe in the water. Hi, Nicholas. Nice to meet you. Hey, Nicholas. Rich. Nice to meet you, Val. How are you doing? What's new with the collection? Can you show me some of your favourite pieces? Of course, that's beautiful. Blue navy parka coat. I mean, into season is this pair of denim. The wash is beautiful, color amazing, comfortable, warm, pretty handy. You know. What are your top, top three pieces? Three is this jacket. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. It's good. This shirt and this one I'm wearing today. Great. <laughs> well, you look lovely. Thank you so much. That's the are you going to try some stuff on? Oh. Is there anything yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Is it all knitwear you're going for, right? Yeah, definitely. Charlotte, what are you wearing now? It's really comfy. I don't know, I'm wearing a cream jumper with buttons on it. Fits you like a glove. It's really nice, it's really comfortable. It's really like, mm. that's nice. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. This is from the menswear. That looks great. I love it. Yeah, a little bit longer. I always like to fold and tuck my knits, yeah. but you want some longer? Great. Nice. This one's nice. nice. This is all about the sleeves. That's what we said. I think these are great. What do you like about this cardigan? The cuffs are so cute. 
what are you wearing now? Really comfy black turtleneck. Girl has off that. It's stretchy. Oh, crazy. I love that. Yeah. Good staple to have in a wardrobe. Just feel a bit more <laughs> and you want to wear something it's cozy. Oh, <laughs> look at you. It's so pretty. I love that shirt. It's nice with the shirt, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Really nice. I don't know whether to go for the pink cardigan or the cream. I think it's so pretty, but it's just not for me, is it? No, I think you've got to yeah. go for the cream, though. No? Yeah, I think so too. Decision made. What are you going to do? Decision made. I'm going for the cream with the buttons. Decision made, Lou. Yeah. It's a really good winter staple, and it's really soft and cozy. You've seen everything. What yes. are your top three pieces? The jumper that I chose, oh, yes. which is there. So that's number one. The number two is cardigan. It's just not me, but I think it's so gorgeous. Are we including men? Yeah, you can go for a men's. I think this coat is so nice. Really solid. It was hard to pick. There's lots yeah. of great stuff. Luke, can you give me your top three pieces? Obviously the black mitt that I just tried on. So this chunky blue cardi. Love that common flower blue. This white broadery on glazed blouse. Number three. This. Oh, he's nice. Burgundy yeah. black jacket. Also love that. Sorry, what am I talking about? The grey handy. Love a grey handy. Nice. How was that? Oh, that was lovely. Really nice to see October editions in the flesh yeah. for the first time. Here we some nice knitwear, so can't So many goodies in that men's wear collection. And in the women's wear. If you need a one-stop shop, autumn, winter. Yeah. That. Well, thanks very much. Have a lovely day. Hi there. Where are we going now? The Larry King Salon in South Kent. We are doing a big campaign with L'Oreal. One part of that is called Maintain My Blonde. We've got three of the Sherlock's team members, Maya, Holly and Becky, each who've got a sort of different tone of blonde. And they're going to get some treatments and a good blow dry. And Larry King. I'm really jealous. I would love to have a blow dry this morning. Should we kick somebody out of the seat no, that you take over? <laughs> How do you maintain your blonde? Do you identify as blonde? Absolutely not. Very I'm 100% a brunette. Do you think I'm blonde? No, I don't think you are blonde, but no. you've got fair part. As it goes down, it gets a lot lighter. Yeah, you know? bronze, maybe. Bronze? Do you alter the colour of your hair in any way? Yeah, so I have balayage done once every eight months, I would say. How do you maintain um, your balayage? Balayage is like very low maintenance, I think, because it's not near the roots, so it's really just the ends. So I think it's just about having a good conditioner, good hair mask, not wearing it like I am now. I'm going to get it knotted around the back. Oh, yeah, it's just here on the left. Perfect. Thank you so much. Hi, pals. Hey, Louise. I didn't know you were going to be here. Yeah. Guys, how do you maintain your blonde? With a good purple shampoo, a good hair mask. Who's going first? How are you, you feeling? You nervous? You're right. No, I'm not nervous. I'm really excited. Should I put the bag in? I put the scan on you. It's going to be shooting stills kind of as you go. Okay, great. So he'll be sort of shooting. Yeah, definitely. Right. How's your working day going? <laughs> Good, I mean, what thing to do to start the Wednesday? It's such a treat. Can I follow you down my love? Do you want me to pop in the cupboard? Yeah. So, what products are we using? Anything in the L'Oreal range, so I think right. anything that you guys would normally be using right. is fine. I guess probably the more product, the better. There's a mask or... Mask or poly's hair probably wouldn't be on. You make it quite flat and it's quite, it's quite healthy. But definitely shampoo, I think. Yeah, nice bit of conditioner for mid lengths and ends. Maybe your new, like, acidic bond Great. for that. Or a little bit of blondage, sort of brighten up the ends. I feel like a mask might make it quite heavy. Like three girls who've all got slightly different blondes. I guess okay. ideally if three of them could all have slightly different products, okay. that would be great. Again, just so for the story so we can show okay. the range of the products, I yeah. guess. Yeah, oh, so you can take the shoes upstairs, my last mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Use, use the silicone bond. We're doing Maybe we'll do. yes. How's your working day going? It's tough, Rich, but someone's got to do it. How is today going to run? Becky, Holly and Maya later. Each are getting a different treatment from the L'Oreal range. Products that are specialists for blonde hair. And then, yeah, we're going to take it after photo to see how fabulous it looks. I'm not doing your one lovely. No, no, I'm going to make notes oh, for each one. Yeah, sorry, that's She's just very nosy. Keep out my business. So, <laughs> this is the purple shampoo, lovely. What is the name of this product? This is the bondage shampoo, purple bondage. You're going for the purple bondage. What are you getting? What am I getting? Yes, yes Dean, the, spill the beans. <laughs> we're getting the ABC range. The ABC the, range? The acidic bonding concentrate range. Main focus is to neutralise the hair off any colouring service. Bleach is quite alkaline, whereas hair naturally is quite acidic. It takes the hair out of its natural pH balance. So it contains something called a fatty alcohol, which basically nourishes the hair in the same way that oil would. I love a fatty alcohol. <laughs> like a Bailey's, basically. Absolutely. <laughs> Bit lovely when you're ready we'll take you over what are we gonna do with pollen rough drive with a little bit of extreme length by red tent split end sealant and a heat protection and then i'm going to use a little bit of the levitation spray urology gonna give a little bit of root lift and then we're gonna run the tongue through give her a little bit of texture happy with that pulse <laughs> she's here yeah. good morning my lucky how are you good how are you great so what are you doing here today getting my hair done how do you maintain your blonde I don't get my hair dyed. Do you identify as blonde? Yeah, I'm like a dirty blonde, yeah. Well, the one way to test it is, do you have more fun? Oh, I have a lot of fun. Fine, yeah. well, you're blonde then. What are you doing now? Adding a little bit of movement, like a medium-sized tongue, to give a really soft, kind of beachy, rock and roll kind of way. Rock and roll, rock and roll. You're feeling quite rock and roll right now? I'm feeling really 
I'm like, cup of tea. Yeah. Cup of tea. <laughs> Butterscotch biscuit. What world is you on? I'm like grandma. Are you a Beachy Wave fan? Oh my god, yeah, it's yeah. my go-to. Best beach you've ever been to? Um, Isla Holbosch. Mexico. Oh, She's fancy. Good answer. Your favourite beach you've ever been to? The Gilly Islands in Bali. What product's this? Is it extreme shampoo? This is the mask. Oh my god, you need extreme shampoo. Yeah, yeah. Sort you out. Am I at the seaside? Because I can see a lot of beachy waves. Yeah. <laughs> My red chem in between the kind of hairspray and dry shampoo, so it just adds a bit of volume, a bit of texture without giving you that crispy afterfinish. Oh, nobody likes a crispy afterfinish, do they? You like a crispy afterfinish? I don't know what that is, but yeah. <laughs> She's not going to give you one. <laughs> no, I'm not going to give you one. 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 I'm not going to Oh, uh, yeah, maybe what you use, yeah. that would be great. I never usually, like, really, really like the way people style my hair. <laughs> uh, like, I don't mind it, but it's not exactly how I would like it. But this, like, is just spot on. Actually, I can't do my hair like this, but it's, like, always what I want to create. Yeah. I'm very happy. This is my work day today. Well, you look great. Thank you so much. What are you doing now? S waving her hair. Corral. S waving. Rather than using a tong, I like to push it through and make an S wave with the Dyson Corral. I do like that. A little wave. Oh, look at that. It's a nice action. Do you often have S waves in your hair? No, but I do like crimping my hair. I love a good crimp. And I'm obsessed with this technique that Izzy is using on Becky's hair. An S wave. I'm like in a trance. It's quite hard to explain. Yeah. It's quite simple. You just need to get the hang of it. Literally, you just like beading yeah. it through. And then it just sort of creates the wave. The S wave really suits you. It's nice. It's like a modern mermaid. A thoroughly modern mermaid. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Tonging the hairs in lots of different ways and use them. I like this technique. What's the name of this technique? On Instagram, I was watching a guy in LA. So I call it like an LA wave. The front section should always be away from the face, given with everything. Today I'm doing it all away from her face. As I pull it out, it will kind of all be in the same direction. Since I've started doing it on my clients, they love it. Doing it on most of my clients now. How do you feel about the LA wave? I my hairs look this soft and aged. Yeah. Yeah. What's the key Pause. to the LA wave? Use a clip, clamp it in, twist it in like that. Pause for a moment and then you turn it. Yeah. Twist it and then pull it in a slightly. It looks really easy, but yeah. it took me a while to pick it up. My tonight. No. <laughs> you should grab that LA wave and go do something. You should ride that LA wave. So this is your look done. How do you feel? I love it. I feel a million bucks. Well, you look I two million. I haven't been to a hairdresser for a long time. I'm sure you <laughs> what have you got? Such a fit team. Such a fit team. You look insane. Oh my god, she looks like an angel. <laughs> Am I dead? <laughs> Is this heaven? <laughs> so guys, how was that? So much fun. Nice to see all three different wrongs. Lots of different tips. It was great. All of your hair looks so healthy and shiny. Yeah. I feel like the products looked incredible and like really nourished your hair. Yeah, completely. I agree. And the styling as well. You all got a wave, but like a slightly different wave. A yeah. different wave. Yeah. I'm loving mine. It's called the S wave. Mine's the LA wave, and I'm off to buy a G8. Tom now because of it. Thanks guys, love to see you. Have a great day. Thanks, Rich. Hi, see you Thanks. next week. Bye, bye bye. bye.